Okay, we're now prepared to do the painting of the perch. He's dried off enough, so he's nice and dry now. Silicone in the eye, so we've got uh, like a mucus around there and filled one or two of the parts where uh, we don't want to be seen right inside the fish. And now we're going to paint it. And the only colours I'm going to need will be a chrome yellow, a yellow ochre, a cadmium red, white, black, a little bit of sap green and a little bit of burnt umber. I reckon those colours will uh, match these colours I've got here. You can see the colours have gone very, very dull. So we don't want to be very strong and very bright, but we do want to bring out the colours again and make it a bit uh, more realistic and fresh. OK? Now I've got some water. These are acrylic paints. I don't need a, a fancy brush, just an ordinary brush that this will do it, because we're only glazing, basically. We're only putting on some colours just to brighten it up a bit. Uh, we want to start with the lightest colours and work through to some of the darkest. So first of all I want to start with a white underbelly here and just glaze, just tint a little white. So we'll thin it down with water. Don't want it too heavy, too, 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 uh, too bright. And just, with lots of water, build up a glaze of light underneath. You can see already how that's bringing the colours of the fish back again. We can blend it with the water in, you see. There we go. And with acrylic paint you can actually fill with it as well, so if you, if you wanted to, you could actually, if you were a little hole or something, you could actually fill uh, with the paint, because it's a liquid plastic, basically. And we just bring that under the fin here, and around under the belly. Go round a bit further than you need, because you don't want anybody to see around there, do you? We don't have to paint all the way around the fish, of course, because we're not seeing the other side. We're going to mount this on a bit of wood on this side. So you can see that the paint is, even now, it's sinking into the fish a little, just blending in all the way along here. Right, now we're going to come round to the underpainting of the other colours. So we don't want to lose the colour we already have, but there's a nice yellow ochre, um, goldy colour going on here. So let's mix a little bit of that yellow ochre up, again thinly. If it's too light, we can add a little bit of, uh, of, of umber to it to darken it down. And we're painting, let's see now, that's better, a glaze over the fish. That way if it trickles a little bit, because we can go back into that. We'll have to put that cream in there anyway. We well, see, we're putting that yellow back into the fish more now. We're putting that, that gold colour back in here. Put it back to the white. And just blend a bit more white underneath the belly again now. Just bring it back a little bit more. So that one comes over the other. There we go. You see we've got a very lifelike belly to it now. Now we have to come up to the darker areas. Uh, we don't want it too black. So I'm going to mix um, a little bit of the green before I do that. Our sap green. Plenty of water. It's supposed to be glazing we're doing. And I want to bring that around. Oh, it's far too thick that. I want to bring it round. That's better. Doesn't need much in the water to do this job. So we give him his green. Now while the acrylic paint is wet, you can still move it around. Once it's dry, that's the end of it. So just bring that green gently around into the golds. You see now that lovely perch colour we're getting. We're bringing the life back into him now as if he's just fresh out of the water. Now these darker colours, I'm going to mix some of that green with some of the black. It's almost black, but not quite. It's down his back. You see that lovely dark now we've got, which we can bring gently down and spread out again in a minute down these stripes. Darker in here as well. It's a little bit round there. And now he's starting to look more like a perch, isn't he? And we just got to tickle in these darks. Down and around the scales. Just enhancing what was there already. That's almost there, isn't it? And all we've got to do now is um, come back on the dark reds and oranges in the fins. Now 
a little bit of pink maybe just inside the gill cover just a touch not too much Water, we'll blend it out. Don't want it too strong under there. There we go. That's it. Now these oranges here, I'm going to put on the yellow first. I'm going to make the yellow fairly thick. This is the cadmium yellow. Bring out these lovely oranges in a moment. So you see, it almost matches those those original colours. Oops, bit of Something on there we don't want. Looks better. We'll match that in. That's a nice bright yellow. That same cadmium yellow down on the tail. You can see where it is from the original. identical colours but a bit brighter again to the original. And he's really as bright as when he was first fished out of the water. There we are. That's our fish finished. Just need a bit of varnish next. Plus a little bit more dark just here. Okay, we're on the last stage. So we're going to use some acrylic picture varnish now because we've used acrylic paint. And just spray them up and look how those colours come out. He looks like a, a wet fish again now. Don't worry about the eye too much. We can scoop the top of the uh, knife later. It's a glass eye, not an acrylic one. So I can clean up. Plenty of varnish. It was good. A couple of coats. But uh, it gives it that lovely gloss and it brings the fish back to looking like it originally was, as you can see here. We're getting two coats, let that dry and give them another coat in a moment. <laughs> 